On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on two highly requested weapons by you guys. Starting with the fast firing AR, the Tempest Razorback, and the fully automatic Desert Eagle, the GS Magna. Let's go try them out. Normally going into recording these videos, I usually have a rough idea of how these weapons are going to turn out, but really the Tempest Razorback has come out of nowhere. I haven't really seen anybody use this weapon at all, but it was the top comment on the last video we did. So I'm like, you know what? If enough people want to see this, let's do it. And I would say the same thing for our full auto deagle here, but I have used this weapon before and it wasn't very good. But to be fair, I was using it in a Kimbo and people were saying that it's way better as a single pistol. So we'll give it another shot. Maybe you just need a little more recoil control on it to make it better. Let's go ahead and throw mag of holding on here and let's pack a punch these and how much ammo do we have on both of them for our tempest torrent we have a thousand and twenty bullets that's a really good sample size of ammo and for our full auto deagle we have 221 bullets i hope that can last because this thing does shoot pretty fast I hope we're not running out of ammo super quick. And per usual, let's try to get a baseline on these weapons damage by doing a tier two bounty. All right, Tempest, you're up first. How are you doing against this mimic? Ah! His health is going down pretty quick. He's already almost dead after like a few seconds of shooting. Not bad. I think I have the most faith in this gun. It seems to have a really nice fire rate. It did some pretty good damage right there. And with the amount of ammo it's got in reserve, this has a lot of potential. Now, if only we can get another bounty to spawn so we can try out this deagle. I guess I'll knock out this weapon stash while we're waiting for one. Is this doing decent against some tier two zombies? Yup, it's a one shot headshot. I don't even need to go full auto. What about our Tempest Razorback? Uh, basically the same thing. I think I've seen literally four zombies during this contract. Look, they don't even care. They're just wandering. Feels like the zombie tracking has been off recently. Whether I'm doing something like this or an Outlast contract, it's like the zombies can't even find me. Yeah, this is a total cakewalk. No opposition. They already know the heat I'm packing. They don't want any. But now it's time to put the single deagle to the test. Is this better than a Kimbo? Disciple, don't you fly away from me, you coward. Come here. Let's light him up. Broke his mask pretty fast, and now he's trying to fly away again. Are these zombies ignoring me? What is going on? You know what? Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth, whatever the hell that means. Let's just light this guy up. It's doing some pretty fast damage, especially since he doesn't have the opportunity to heal. Mm, you know what? You guys might be onto something. Maybe just one deagle's better. But after that one bounty plus, you know, shooting a few zombies on the way, we only got 98 bullets left out of our max 200. So I'm thinking ammo might be an issue for this weapon, regardless if its damage is better. And we already got enough for pack three on one of our weapons, but we're right next to a bounty. I might as well grab it. Get a little extra cash. Some walking around money. Let's give this deagle another try against the disciple. I think the zombies are still ignoring us. What is... I just have permanent aether shroud? All right. Light them up. Yeah, the damage is pretty consistent. It's not bad at all. Absolutely slaughtering them. Night, night. All right, now we can safely move on to tier three. And while we're on our way to pack three, how's this doing against tier three zombies only at pack two? They can handle them, it looks like. At least maybe one at a time, a whole group of them. A little bit of a different story. What about our Tempest? Oh, you know what? That's not too bad. They still are coming at me like one at a time. I guess we'll see once we start getting hounded. But it can handle them. They don't do too bad. But let's start off by getting this Razorback pack three first. Now it's time for our video tradition of trying to fight people for bounties or any contract in tier three. Like it's a TV on Black Friday. Oh, we got an abomination right here. We'll, we'll kill him to kill the time. What's going on, pal? A decoy. Don't you charge at me. Knock it off. Disciple, I really need you to get out of here so you don't heal up this abomination. Oh, you know what? Perfect. I'll take that. Doing some pretty nice damage to him and already broke a face. Other disciple, you need to leave. Uh, we're getting some helpful Harrys over here. Oh, shit. What? The abomination just disappeared. Did the disciple kill it? Don't you take my stuff. Damn, greedy bastards. They just sit there and wait for somebody to like complete a contract, complete a stronghold, kill an abomination, and they are swooping in to grab whatever rewards are on the ground. Vultures, man. We even get a full test on an abomination. We're gonna have to look for another one. Oh, speak of the devil. What's up, bitch? Let me talk to you. There you go, shoot that laser. First face gone immediately. And damage without its mouth open, not too great. But that's with every gun. Go ahead and open up for me, pal. Let me see what you got. Where are you going? He's distracted. He's concussed. 
The abomination got CTE. Where are you going? Hello? Oh, he just locked onto another player down there? Cool. All right, well, maybe we'll fight another one another day. Do I fucking smell or something? You think the zombies would like that? But they're all just avoiding me, except for all these other zombies. It's like anything I want to fight doesn't want to fight me and don't want the smoke. Everything else does. And there's still no tier three contracts. You know what? I'm gonna go do another tier two bounty real quick. We'll get enough money to get pack three on this Deagle. And then we'll go pay a visit to our friend, the Stormcaller, assuming he's still alive. All right, Deagle, it's your turn to get pack three. And how are we doing against tier three zombies now? Oh, it was like, what, a three shot kill? To the head, at least. Against these horde of zombies, it seems like armor really tanks shots on it. And this mimic is really tanking shots. If we just hold down on the trigger, it'll go down eventually. Ooh, I don't know about this. Like, it can kill. But not super quick. And just outside a pack-a-punch here, we just ran out of ammo. Literally pack-a-punched it less than a minute ago. Maybe I should be uh, a little more careful with my shots, but... I mean... That's no fun with Maggle holding. Stormcaller. I've come to visit. Oh, wait, hold on. And I'm bringing the gift of ammo. Let's start out with a monkey bomb, though. Get all the zombies away. We'll play this one safe. How much damage is our Tempest Razorback doing? Broke the mask relatively quickly, and his health's going down a decent rate. Not like the best weapon I've ever seen against him, but it can definitely take him down. What about our Deagle? We've seen this take down a few disciples, but they were not paying attention. This one definitely is. We can stop them from healing. Ooh, that's not doing that much damage. Okay, let's Aether Shroud on him. So he can't find us to heal. Ooh, I don't know about this. It seems kind of lackluster. Like, it's right on the edge of where it could be, like, decent and usable. But it's also not doing enough to make me want to bring this back in the game. Like, it's not the worst weapon I've ever used. Like, this just... This might be the definition of mid. Like, it's not great. But it's also not terrible. Oh, maybe for its ammo it is. I spoke too soon. But goodbye, Stormcaller. Nice seeing ya. Oh, and you got me a Scorcher? How nice! I barely ever see Scorchers dropped. All right, maybe now we might be able to fight an Abomination on our own. All right, Abomination, take three. Let's see if we can actually fight this guy. Disciple, I need you to go. Somebody's requesting to join our group. Ain't gonna happen. At least not right now. I'm busy. But now we can get this face broken on him. Wait, why are you tanking so much damage this time around? It's not breaking at all, but he's just eating damage. This abomination's got veneers or something. Why is it blocking bullets? Like, look how much damage we have on him with no faces broken. You guys saw those other two abominations get their face broke easily. This one's got that iron jaw. Probably got that wet throat, too. It's basically at no health right now. Let's see if we can break it. Still! We just shot every single bullet in that one face and nothing broke. But it did kill him pretty fast. Like, the damage output on this thing is kind of crazy. I'm liking the Razorback. Now he's got to find another one to try the deagle on. Everyone's trying to recruit me today. Maybe if I can't find a contract, then we'll talk. Oh, but this is exactly what we're looking for. Abomination, don't you walk away from me this time. Shoot your laser. Is your face going to break? Oh, it did. Nice. Look at you. You must have just been fighting one with really strong mouth genes. Well, let's try the strat of climbing up here. Are you going to shoot your laser? Yeah, you are. Let's get this middle broken. Throw on some armor while we're shooting. And we're out of ammo. Nice. Let's see if he'll follow us over here so I can refill. But the damage so far has been decent, I guess. The Tempest definitely has this thing wiped down. Oh, broke his middle face. Almost did enough damage that whole last laser to take it out. Let's try the last face. We got him to about half health here. Got us to about no health. How many self revives am I at? Am I being too crazy? No, nope, I'm, I'm good. We're fine. We're chilling. Shoot another one. Coward. I say as I'm hiding on top of an umbrella. Okay, now he's acting like he don't know we're here. We're still getting some decent damage on his mouth, though. Even though we're already almost out of ammo again. Let me just take out some zombies. Y'all gotta drop me some now. Okay, now it's time for you to go. Come here. Night, night. Now, normally with weapons like this that run out of ammo, like, pretty quickly, I'd say that they're boss-killing weapons, especially if, like, the damage output's high. But this, I mean, it can definitely take out a boss. We just took out an abomination with it. But I don't really have, like, a specific niche that it's really good at. It's just, like, decent 
at everything. And its ammo is just really handicapping it. Like normally I don't throw on any different kind of magazines on these weapons when we're using mag of holding unless they increase ammo capacity. So I have this at max ammo capacity and it's still running out of ammo very quickly. Maybe if I throw brain rot on it, it might give me a chance to have uh, some brain rotted zombies kill some other zombies to give me some ammo. Oh, and there's an HVT a bomb right here. Is somebody about to come fight this or are they leaving this alone? I see people that get HVT a bombs and they just cancel the contract and they wander around. Let me see if I can join these guys. Uh oh, we're getting surrounded. Let's move out of the way. And let's just start fighting this abomination. We'll have to show off our talents if we want to join this team. Oh, and this is actually doing massive damage. I'm liking the Tempest. Seems like a good weapon so far. Ooh, look at that damage. All without a laser. Caught him yawning. There you go. Middle face gone. On to the last one. Where are you running to? Oh, I led him too far away from his area. How am I supposed to know? You're not even my bounty. That's so annoying. I hate it. Like, I understand why it's a thing. Because people could just lead him to, like, some cheese spot and take him out. Like, you could lead him to, like, uh, you know, a deadbolt turret or whatever. And it would just wipe him. But for the most part, they chase you away. And then they run back. Oh, and another fucking bastard running in for the loot. This ain't even my bounty. So I ain't even getting a reward for it. That's a freebie. Oh, now you're going to invite me. I guess he invited me earlier and I didn't join. Whatever. What are we doing over here? A nice spore contract. Ooh, good thing we joined them. These guys pinned a spore control contract, but I'm gonna do them one better. Let's do an outlast. I want to give the deagle one more shot against a, a big wave of zombies, especially now that we got an ammo mod on it. Maybe that was the key to unlock its greatness. Oh, look at that. With the right attachments and a nuke, this thing can take out a whole horde easy. Within seconds, actually. Let's start this bad boy up. It does have such a cold inspect animation, though. Popping the mag out and catching it is so clean. I think the only other inspect animation that's better than this is the one for... Oh, what's the pistol called? The Daemon. Got it. Almost lost it. We came back. We got it. We recovered. Brain almost let me down. Maybe some of these weapons would be way better if I was playing on keyboard and mouse. Because, like, its headshot damage is not bad. Like, it's not a one-shot headshot on any tier 3 zombies, at least not that I'm seeing. Yeah, it looks like multiple shots, even without armor. But if I was spamming dead shot on controller, it could be nasty. I don't think my aim's that terrible. I might miss a few shots here and there, but I'm mainly hitting headies. Hitting domers. And it's holding up here. Its hip fire accuracy isn't terrible. Its ammo capacity is, though. That's like the eighth time I've ran out of ammo with it. I don't know what these guys are doing. I think I'm going to end up leaving this group. I appreciate the, the contracts, gentlemen. But I'm back to being a lone wolf. Let's do another outlast. Just to pass the time before the storm gets here. Fine, you can join back for this contract. Oh, let's go. It is. This guy is actually like so lucky for loot. He's our good luck charm. Oh, and he wants to go to the dark aether. Guess what, pal? Look at this. Check this out. I got an elder. You know what? Since this guy's given us such nice loot just by his presence, I'll go to the Dark Aether with him. Let's see if he wants to do this Dark Aether. Which one do you want? This one or this one? You just ping that one. You want this one? Which one? There or there? There or there? Let me just ask. Why don't I use words? Old or new? Oh, he said old. Well, he didn't say it. He just ran this way. We have an unspoken bond. Let's hop in. Now, for this one, I usually start with the Aether Extractor, but it's probably smarter if we just go straight to the Escort. That's definitely going to be the toughest one here and probably take the most time. So let's see if we can handle that. So far, this gun handling some Dark Aether zombies. And as for the Deeg, it's handling Hellhounds. You better have a self-revive, pal. Let me throw a decoy. Let me get you. Oh, he had healing aura and it went off right after he got up. I've seen some people like try to time their healing aura where they hit it like one frame before they go down and they can revive themselves. It's crazy. It's new tech. Oh, and they got an abomination waiting for us. We got to take this guy out fast. I want to take him out before we start moving this. Uh oh, I think he might have already started it. Whatever, that's fine. We're tearing through this anyways. Already got him to half health. This is actually a monster. I'll focus the abomination. He can focus the escort. He should be dead right here. Beautiful. I want to go check what loot he dropped, but I don't want to leave him alone with the escort. That'll be selfish. Oh, no. Another abomination, and it should be wiped right here. Oh, shit. Has he got a healing aura? Oh, no. He went down trying to get me. That's my bad. I want a jug. I might as well grab that just in case we need it. 
Let's keep it moving. This thing's only at 50% health. Us both going down right there, not good. We gotta lock in. Wait, how does he have energy mine and healing aura? Oh, it was the dog that tried to revive us. I'm an idiot. I forget that the dogs basically have healing aura. I'm throwing a cashmere right away. We don't have a whole lot of health to play around with, and I'm almost positive we might get a whole another abomination on this one. There always seems to be one right at the end. Oh, uh, yep, there is another one. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this down now. And I'm throwing a cashmere down to keep them away. Come on, get here. There it is. Perfect. Oh, and there's an insta-kill too. I'm gonna make my way over and grab it. Oh no, we're only on 8%. We got this, come on. Final stretch. Hold down the fort. We both got jugs going, it just completed. We just gotta make sure the rocket can launch. I'm throwing, no, it died at zero. I mean, obviously. But we were so close. It was just about to launch. Damn. Valiant effort. We definitely gave it a good old try. If we both didn't go down early on there, I think we win that. It's time for the Aether Extractor. We gotta get some good loot out of this. He's already got the first one. Solid. Oh, that zombie just Goomba stomped me off the ladder. Dickhead. Let's see if he'll go for it while I'm defending. Actually, maybe I should go for it while he defends. I think we got it. Clean. Next. Last one. Oh, we brain rotted the mangrove. This is perfect. I hate it when the animation starts, but you see no progress going. We got it. Something good, please? Dog bone? Ugh. Terrible. Awful loot. Now I'm a lot of rhythm. Where's this bus at? That's right over here. And he already started it up. What a lad. Oh, and I'm about to go down. No, I'm not. I'm the greatest. Can't ever go down. It is getting pretty hairy in here, though. I'm using all the lethals I can find. I am stressing a little bit, though. As good as this thing is, I can't really handle crowds too crazy well. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Perfect timing for the contract to end. Beautiful. Man, I feel like if we would have cleaned that escort, the Luke Luck would have been way better. Now it's time we say farewell. Thanks for playing. I'm out of here. So overall opinion on these weapons, the full auto deagle, very mid. Uh, it's definitely better as a single pistol than it would be as a Kimbo. So, you know, I'll take that one on the chin. But it really wasn't putting out enough damage to supplement its lack of ammo because we're running out of ammo like crazy with that. And as for the Tempest Razorback, it actually did really well in Tier 3. It was mowing through zombies, taking out abominations fast. But then when we got to the Dark Aether, it was still handling the abominations. Like, it's a good boss killer. And it can kill zombies individually or in small groups. But once you start getting, like, hounded, and you have like big hordes on you, I don't really think it's up to par for some other weapons in the Dark Aether. But it's still a very good weapon, and I'm sure in the right hands, it can do a lot better than Dark Aether than what I did with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.